Hey there. So today was Global Azure Bootcamp Day, which means that, uh, and if I read the site, they said 270 confirmed, another 13 pending, which could have been 283 events in total happening in the world um, on the same day. So a pretty amazing event we had here in Johannesburg, and I hear that in Cape Town, it went great as well. So in my session today, I spoke about cognitive services and using text analytics to detect sentiment when it comes to text in uh, forms or surveys that you do. So I'm going to very quickly just show you how do you set up that little service in, um, in Azure. Now, um, when I go to Azure, and I'm logged into my Azure, of course, uh, when I go to all services and I search for cognitive, you'll then find all the cognitive services that are available. And just a quick, very, very quick recap on that. Under the cognitive services, you actually have different types and vision and knowledge, um, language, speech, search. And of course, you can go and have a look at this website to see all the cool um, resources there. So the one that we are going to use, of course, is a text analytics. And uh, I'm going to just click on create new service there. And uh, I can actually just scroll down for it or search for it. And you'll see that the text analytics API sits right here. So when I select it, it's going to ask me to uh, just confirm some details, what I'm allowed to use, what I must remember to do. And I'm going to just uh, click on create. So let's just give it a couple of seconds. I'm going to give it a name. So um, intranet feedback. And of course, I can just use it as feedback as well, because I can use the same um, resource for other analytics I want to run. So um, intranet feedback. Um, I'm going to leave it on um, the path that I'm using, pricing tier. I'm going to just use that uh, free one right there. Resource group as well. So let's just say um, feedback. And I'm actually going to change that um, to feedback analytics. I think that would be a better undo a better description to use and um, I'm going to pin it to my dashboard as well in the front and I'm going to go say um, create so let's just give us a couple of seconds to run and uh, as soon as that's created and um, we can then see that we've got this little service that we can use to run analytics um, in different things that we're going to do in the um, next little video clip that I'll publish up next, um, I'm actually going to talk about the Microsoft's flow that we can create, where we can then use this um, specific little service to help us um, do some pretty cool things. So let's just have a look. Very, very importantly, once it's created it, you are going to go and have to go and fetch um, these keys. So I do just want to, uh, to copy that to a note where I can use it. So I'm going to go and use these keys in the workflow that I am going to be using up next. So very, very easy to go and create that service or to deploy it so that you can use it. And uh, then of course you can take it from there and you can start using this little API in, uh, in your workflows, etc. So I'll catch you for the next video um, where we're going to create a Microsoft Flow to use this uh, very cool little feature to then detect sentiment for us that we use in, um, in text feedback that we get. Chat to you soon.